Well, things will be improving across the northeast, going downhill across the middle of the country and going down the coast with our wet and maybe even stormy weather into California. What do I mean by all of this? Well, let's take a look at every bit of it. First of all, the satellite vantage point, a good way to get a good perspective on what's taking place with the, the clouds and the systems themselves. A lot of cold air aloft across the western U.S. We know what that can do is that comes in. Little speckled looking clouds right through there. Little speckled clouds. Good indication of the cold air settling in. That's a big system. Very big cold upper level low. And to scoot in. That cold air works to aid the instability. And what that means is we could see some thunderstorms in a few areas. Also the chance of a little bit of hail. And hail could be a little factor here throughout uh, the daytime too. Sliding southward in Southern Cal. Eventually LA and San Diego will think about that. Uh, going on in toward the latter part of the day, especially some morning rain, maybe a chance of a scattered storm, San Diego, L.A., and potentially a wet drive on the 5, too, for the morning, just to take that into account. Northwest could see some showers, say, towards Seattle, latter part of the day, but really not too bad for most of the Pacific Northwest. In the Northeast, our system we talked about brings us a little more snow. That gets out of the way. Then the mixings get together. Okay, right in the middle of the country, this is going to be a West New England on into Sunday and into a bit of Monday as well. As far as the short term, pretty quiet on the west coast till the afternoon, northeast a little. Making for blizzard conditions, we could be in for a major winter storm uh, throughout New England. New York City, Boston, Philly, D.C., Baltimore. Kind of a heads up, get ready for a very, very rough winter situation. Interior west, some snow, rain and even flood major 